Maria Totter's essay, The Hard Facts of the Grimm's Fairy Tales, delves into the intricate nature of the Grimm's fairy tales, exploring their historical context, the evolution of the stories, and their enduring appeal. Totter's analysis provides valuable insights into the complexities of these beloved tales and challenges conventional interpretations. Tatar begins by highlighting the grim and often unsettling nature of the Grimm's fairy tales. She argues that these stories are frequently seen as darker and more brutal than their Disney-fied adaptations, which sanitize and simplify the narratives for a broader audience. Tatar asserts that understanding the original context and intent of these tales is crucial for a deeper appreciation of their richness. One of Totter's key points is the notion of authenticity in fairy tales. She asserts that there is no single definitive version of these stories, as they have evolved over time through oral traditions, literary adaptations, and the Grimm's own editorial choices. This fluidity challenges the idea of an authentic fairy tale, suggesting that each version reflects the cultural norms and values of its time. Tatar also discusses the Grimm's role in collecting and publishing these tales. She emphasizes that the Grimm's were not merely passive collectors but actively shaped the narratives to fit their vision of preserving German folklore. This editorial influence raises questions about the degree to which the tales can be considered a pure reflection of folk culture. Furthermore, Tatar explores the role of violence and cruelty in the Grimm's fairy tales. She argues that these elements serve as a reflection of the harsh realities of the 19th century, including poverty, violence, and social injustices. The tales, in this view, become a way for people to grapple with these issues and seek catharsis through storytelling. Tatar also touches upon the role of gender in the Grimm's fairy tales. She points out that many of the female characters are portrayed as passive and victimized, reinforcing traditional gender roles. However, Tatar highlights that some tales, such as Cinderella, can also be read as stories of empowerment, where the heroine overcomes adversity through her own agency. In addition to analyzing the content of the tales, Tatar discusses their lasting popularity. She attributes their enduring appeal to their ability to tap into universal themes and emotions, such as love, jealousy, and the struggle for justice. These timeless elements continue to resonate with readers of all ages. Tatar concludes her analysis by asserting that the Grimm's fairy tales are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Despite the evolving nature of the tales and changing cultural contexts, they continue to captivate and engage audiences. Tatar encourages readers to appreciate the complexity and ambiguity of these stories, recognizing that their richness lies in their ability to provoke thought and discussion. Overall, Maria Totter's essay, The Hard Facts of the Grimm's Fairy Tales, offers a thought-provoking exploration of these timeless stories. She challenges conventional interpretations, highlighting the fluidity of the tales, the role of violence, and the complex portrayal of gender. Totter's analysis reminds us that these fairy tales are more than simple children's stories, they are windows into the cultural and social landscapes of their times, offering valuable insights into the human condition.